Hello friends, today I'm going to show you an extremely simple repair and then that is how to handle a stuck or really hard to move uh, aperture ring or the opposite case when the thing is really really weak and then it's not making the really nice clicking sounds we like and then this is what I have in this case here so this is what's going on I move in one direction and then this is the clicking sound you get and then in the other is a bit better but then it is rather hard to move so and then if we compare that to a good condition lens this is what you get so we're going to fix that and then that is extremely simple repair because what happens is just dirt that is making yeah, what is blocking the aperture ring or what can happen is that the noise that is being made is not very strong because the little part that makes the noise is default so let's just fix that extremely quickly so we're going to remove the bayonet and then this is valid for near all lenses there are a few exceptions regarding the construction of this but then in most cases the principle remains the same that is a ring that moves just behind the bayonet and then the clicking sound is given by a very simple device so let us remove just this and then the okay. I hope you can see it just as expected it is extremely dirty and then this is dirt yeah it can be pollen sound uh, whatever that gets into the lens during the years and then at some point yeah it makes just using the aperture ring not a very nice experience so and then see here as well a lot of there there looks a bit like pollen good thing i am not allergic to it and then the element which is making the noise is usually this little plate which seems to be in good condition so what we can do now is just to clean this and then so we have clean this element and then here we do the same on the inside and then yeah obviously the lens is to be clean but then in this case we are taking care use of this and then I'm pretty sure that what we're going to get now is totally different to what we have before and then okay I'm going to put back the bayonet not the bayonet, the aperture ring and then here we need to be extremely careful you might have this in different forms but obviously you have one element that you need to connect and then this is what is going to move the diaphragm at the end of the day in the case of this lens it is here and then obviously on the part there is one slot or opening to receive that so we have it here and then what we need to do with care is just to access this element here so we can push it otherwise when we're going to get in we are going to be blocked and then at the same time we need to align with the pin in some lenses it is a bit easier because you have one part that you put on the top not in this case sadly but then 
I pick here and then what I need to do now just to make it sure so like okay I got it so I just needed to deform that part and then in some lenses is not like a little part that deforms but just like a bow so when you are removing the aperture ring just be careful that the bow is not going to get lost okay and then here you see the lens is already turning better and then making a better noise so this is a great success okay and then sometimes it happens that the noise is still very weak here is not really at the top so and then what you can do and then this is going to be extremely simple is you remove this part and then what you can do is using like a tip or something like that use this tip here you are going to deform it a bit back like I am doing right now and then you need some position so it's going to make a louder noise okay so let us just put this here it a bit and then I have the impression now that the sound is a lot nicer and a lot better and then here I can move the ring with a lot more ease and then this is the repair it's extremely simple as you can see and then now what I need to do here is to put the bayonet in the right position and then usually bayonets present themselves in very different shapes and then here this one here has a fork and then I just need to pay attention and then I can see a little board yeah okay yeah. you see there and then I need to pass the fork around this part and then I get okay I need to put the bayonet in the right position which is going to be here and here you go a lens with an aperture ring which is nice to use and this is all I wanted to show you this is all I wanted to show you today thanks for watching and see you next time